It appears a series of poor decisions after the dream cruise on the stretch of I-75 in Troy caused a fiery and deadly crash. Yeah, started with two cars slowing down to about 10 miles an hour on the highway, but it was a completely separate bad decision that cost one person their life. Rod Maloney live in Troy tonight with more. Rod. Yeah, Devin, a lot of questions to sort out in this, and the real question is, was there in fact an attempt to have a drag race on I-75? This 1984 Mazda RX-8 with sporty wheels and aftermarket front lighting sits broken and burned, a shell of its former glitzy self in the Troy impound lot after getting rear-ended by this red Ford F-150 and burning. The accident happened overnight Saturday night, Sunday morning on southbound I-75's center lane. Troy police say the Mazda with two people inside and another vehicle slowed down to a crawl. Traffic behind them didn't, however, and the red F-150 driven by an unidentified Warren man drove right up the back of the Mazda at full speed. The collision so forceful, the back half of the car is all but gone. The Mazda wound up pushed into the breakdown lane, hitting the guardrail and burst into flames. The Mazda's passenger is identified as 27-year-old Cassandra Hunter of Innisfil, Ontario, which is just outside of Toronto. She died at the scene. Her driver, a 29-year-old male, is also from Innisfil. He's listed in serious condition at an area hospital. Troy police arrested the driver of the pickup truck, did the field sobriety tests, but opted to also do a blood sample because the crash included a death. It takes a week or two for those blood tests to reveal whether alcohol was involved, so for the time being, the driver ended up being sent home pending charges. Troy police are confirming the couple in the Mazda did attend the Dream Cruise. Whether they were headed back to Canada or still looking to enjoy the car enthusiast's party remains the big question. And so at this point, Troy police say that they want to talk to whomever might have seen this activity on the highway. As I said, there are a lot of questions. They're not sure whether it was a drag race or not, or whether there were people doing things on I-75 at a slow speed that they shouldn't have been at that time. They're still trying to figure that out. If you know anything, Troy police want to hear from you. Reporting live from Troy police headquarters, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod.